element compound and mixture why are elements and compound called pure substance and why is mixture called impure substance i will also teach you the easy concept of chemical and physical combination before starting the lecture click on the subscribe button and get access to our hundred of conceptual lectures for free firstly understanding the basic concept of element and compound we have learned in the previous lecture that every matter is made from atoms now let me give you two examples consider table salt and gold we know that both table salt are made from millions of atoms let me ask you can we split table salt into two or more simple atoms also can we split gold into two or more simple atoms well the answer is yes we can split table salt into two atoms sodium and chlorine while here the answer is no we cannot split gold into two or more atoms because gold is made from only one atom are gold atoms thus we say that table salt is made from two different atoms sodium and chlorine while gold is made from only one type of atoms in chemistry we call gold as an element because it is made from only one type of atoms while we call table salt as a compound because it is made from two different types of atoms the second example is consider sugar and iron sheet let me ask you again can we split up sugar and iron into two or more simple atoms well the answer is yes we can split up sugar into three different atoms carbon hydrogen and oxygen here the answer is no we cannot further split up iron into two or more atoms iron is made from only one type or one kind of atoms while sugar is made from three different types of atoms thus in chemistry we call iron as an element because it is made from only one type of atoms while we call sugar as a compound because it is made from three different types of atoms now we should thoroughly learn that what is an element well element is defined as a pure substance which cannot be split up into two or more simpler substances by any physical or chemical process for instance if you take a piece of gold and starts cutting it down you will still get smaller particles of gold you cannot get something else thus in the definition we therefore say that we cannot split up an element by any physical or chemical process secondly in the definition we say that element is a pure substance which believe me many students neither know it nor try to learn it well element is therefore known as a pure substance because it is made from one kind of atoms secondly all these atoms have same chemical properties remember that every element is denoted by its own symbol for example carbon is denoted by c hydrogen is denoted by h and oxygen is denoted by o scientists have discovered 118 elements out of which 92 elements are natural and 26 elements are artificial or man made remember that these 118 elements are listed in a chart commonly known as a periodic table for example you can spot c and the periodic table it is carbon element similarly you can spot oxygen element and hydrogen element in the periodic table thus whenever you see periodic table think that it is the collection of 
total elements 118 elements that exist in our nature here let me also quickly give you a bonus tip are you confused about element and an atom well it is not difficult atom is the basic or fundamental unit of an element for example consider a pencil it is made from carbon carbon is an element it is made from millions of small units or small atoms or you can say that when these small atoms of carbon combines together we get an element like this pencil now what is compound well a pure substance consists of two or more different types of elements chemically combined together in a fixed ratio by mass is known as a compound for example table salt sugar and water remember that compound is also a pure substance because it is made up of only one kind of molecules and all these molecules have same chemical properties secondly compounds are represented by the respective formula for example the formula of table salt is nacl the formula of sugar like glucose is c6 H12O6 and the formula of water is H2O now remember that if you do not learn the two concepts in the definition chemically combined together and fixed ratio by mass then you will not understand compounds thoroughly hence what is chemical combination well when two or more atoms combine together due to either gaining and losing electrons are sharing electrons we say that chemical combination occurs between atoms for example consider table salt we know that in table salt sodium atom loses one electron and chlorine atom gains one electron as a result they are combined together chemically secondly what is meant by fixed ratio by mass well it means that n compound atoms combine together in fixed ratio for example consider water we know that its formula is h2o in a single molecule of water there are two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom the ratio of hydrogen atoms to oxygen atom is 2 and 2 1 if you increase or decrease this ratio you may get something new for example adding one more oxygen atom to this you get hydrogen per oxide the ratio of hydrogen atoms to oxygen atoms and this becomes 2 and 2 2 therefore we say that we have to chemically combine atoms together in fixed ratio by mass in order to get desired compound finally let me teach you that what is mixture well when two or more substances are physically combined together we call it mixture for example cold drinks tea dyes etc in the definition we say that substances are physically combined together no what is meant by physical combination well let me ask you how can you make salad you can make salad by just mixing the vegetables all together the atoms of vegetables neither lose nor gain electrons thus this simple combination is usually termed as physical combination some other examples of mixtures are when salt plus water are combined together we get mixture here salt is compound and water is also compound the second example is when you put some iron foils into the water you get mixture here iron is an element and water is compound thirdly when you add iron to gold jewelry you get mixture here iron is an element and gold is also an element 
thus combining different substances physically we get mixture lastly remember that mixture is not a pure substance it is impure substance because two or more substances are physically combined together due to which we have two different kinds of particles in a mixture a one can say that the particles in mixture have not same chemical properties for example when you mix water and salt water molecules have different properties than that of salt therefore we say that mixture is impure substance this was all about element compound and mixture i hope that you have learned all these concepts thank you very much for watching this video